<clears throat> I'm going to show you how I make flowers. Uh, this is an evolution process for the last years. I first learned how to do it from Ed. How many years ago, Ed? Four or five years ago. <coughs> and it's changed and grown and done, and done silly things. This may be, I can make this a very short demo. This may be the shortest demo I ever do. Um, I'm going to pass these out. This is, this is what I'm going to show you. Sort of. I've tried these out of everything I could think of. Dry wood does not work worth a flip. It has to be green wood so that it'll curl. And if you look at those, you'll see how they're curled back. Um, the best that I've found is uh, poplar saplings. But unfortunately, I don't have any in my yard. And I've, I've tried, like I say, all kinds of stuff. Well, I'm here one weekend, we'll get you a truckload. <laughs> yeah, you guys got some here. In fact, I was going to try to come down early and just cut some, but this is, I was telling Vern coming down in the car, this is my busiest time of the year with school and everything else going on. Next year I won't have that problem. <laughs> Then I'll show you a couple other things we're going to, that I can do. And I'm not sure I remember how to do these because I've only made thousands of these. Thousands. I mean thousands. Uh, at the county fair up in uh, Cabarrus, I did nine five-gallon buckets of these. I did a five-gallon bucket almost every night. Might have been eight five-gallon buckets. We caught so many of those. My word was turning and turning to my arms hurt. And uh, that was some great wood. This wood, what you're seeing is what I made from this wood. This does okay. Um, when I first started doing them the way that I'm, I'm going to show you tonight, um, we were at a place called Bost Grist Mill. It's an uh, antique grist mill. And we're invited to go there and turn every year. And I was turning flowers and handing them out to the ladies. And this one woman got a flower, and I swear to you, a bee was laying on it the whole time she was trying to go. And I got pictures, I can't remember, but I guess it was in Concord, someplace we were, it was down here yeah, last year. Yeah, pictures of the bee yeah the bees were landing on the flowers. I mean, it's, it's pretty neat. Okay, Like I say, this, this can be very fast. And I'm going to make a, a flower. Like, a, like that is, and I'll show you what I do now. <clears throat> because it doesn't take very long to do this. And it's a great thing for the show. so fast. It's like tops. Um, we've got to where we turn tops so fast, it's incredible. You want to get rid of the, the uh, bark and get down into the, the regular grain wood. And I tried turning it with the bark on, I've got all kinds of silly things. But this seems to work the best. Hey, you gotta look at this. It's a guy in England who goes out in the woods and he makes flowers on these real old blades and he, he really does some cool stuff. He does it with a spindle gouge that he's modified and 
I'm not opposed to modifying tools. I think that's okay, but if I can do it another way without modifying a tool, I can use my spindle gouge to do spindles and not have to worry about flowers, if that makes sense. So I use a, a screw. And you just want to get under there and you're going to peel the layers back. You're, you're making a, you're doing turning that you don't want to do normally. And it's not complicated by any means. Start going out to the end, of course the petals get smaller and smaller, shorter and shorter. And they sometimes don't turn out. satisfied with anything. It's just part of my personality. And I uh, hate the fact that people would have to come back later and get this thing after it dries. So we, uh, I wanted to come up with some way to paint it. I wanted that way to be to where it wouldn't take so long for it to dry. So I went to Harbor Freight. I've got a couple of double action airbrushes and I was going to put one of them up and spray this thing and let it dry and cut it off, do whatever. Okay. So I picked one up and I was getting ready to leave and then I uh, was with a guy, uh, Mark, from up at uh, Mark Steele up in the Concord Club. And uh, yes, this, <coughs> this is what I normally use now. And I'll have different colors of paint in each one of the jars. And you can you can play with that if you want. You snap the nozzle out, snap it into the next jar. It's like the best cheap single action airbrush that you can find. That's all you, all I needed was a single action airbrush. I tried spray cans and all kinds of stuff, but the paint takes forever to dry. With that, when I finish spraying, and you can meter it down to where it just barely puts paint on it. You cut it off, you hand it to them, it's dry. That's not the way I'm going to do it tonight because you got to have an air compressor and go through a bunch of silly nonsense and mix up paint and what have you. And the other thing I do is uh, about 10 bucks. Yeah, they're about 10 bucks. And you can get them on sale for $9.95. We're <laughs> <laughs> the 20% gold price. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, Spend more on gas, didn't I? That's right. Um, then what I did, when I had the bees land on the flowers, what I had in the, in the paint was uh, scent. Um, I couldn't tell you what it was. Uh, one of the guys up at Concord had some stuff left over, some oils, and it smelled okay, I guess. 
I have to tell you, this, this is a funny story from last year's um, county fair. I was turning flowers, and I had whatever the wood I had, I was turning flowers this big. These things were huge. They were really nice, beautiful. And this gal walks up, uh, a little younger than me, so she was probably in her 70s. And she said... Uh, probably in her 20s. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she says, they smell okay, but that's not good, good scent. I'm going... She turns out she's a, an aromatherapist. Oh, oh. So she was telling me all about aromas, and she was getting all excited about her thing. Well, I have a, a gal pal in Maryland, and she was coming down to visit me for the first time. And she, I was asking her what would be good stuff to set up for that. Well, so she gave me the whole rendition on how to get the right smell. <laughs> and anyhow, she gave me some stuff. She said, use this. It was jasmine or whatever. But you meet... You folks that don't go out to the shows and stuff and turn, you really miss it a lot. I've met so many crazy people, it's unbelievable. But yeah, uh, she, she fixed me up. <laughs> did, did the owner work? Wait, did it, yeah. Oh, it worked. I mean, it's going to work anyway. But... <laughs> okay, get rid of all the, uh, the bark stuff. And like I say, if you get the right wood, these are not big. These are they're not the smallest flowers I've made, but if you get the right stuff, you can get flowers that come out like that. These things, they look just like a carnation. Uh, you guys have to see them.
I've left paint in them, and uh, quick, quick, oh, that motor work. I just had it work just a little while ago. Um, I never bothered to even uh, plug them up or anything. If you look at the way those bottles are made, take a needle, clean them out, um, clean them out, and uh, go right back to using them. I've had them sit for like six months, so it works pretty good. Where do you buy those at? These I got at uh, Woodcraft. And it, like I say, it did work. And that's because you could mix up the paints? Yeah. Well, and you'd have a, one for every color that you want to use. This is just stuff you can do with branches. And if I was making many, I'd want another color. Same thing, get rid of the green. It's another one that I learned from Ed.
think this is called a daffodil. I don't know flowers, I just cut them. <coughs> and this one you'd want to cut all the way off. That this is one of the things you want to you'd want to put a wire on the daffodils hang like that. Instead of like that. You know there, sir? And then you just shoot it yellow. And then the other flowers, depending on uh, what shape you want, you can do some strange shapes. It's not even make some of the mother's day. <laughs> All right, one more flowery type of thing. Okay, another story. We were out doing uh, the mall up in Concord, the Carolina Mall, for hospice a couple of years ago. And you guys didn't know Jerry Meesemer, he's the president up there. Him and I got into a contest of making Christmas trees for Christmas tree ornaments. Turn one, we paint something, do some silly stuff. This was not one of the ones that we did. <laughs> I didn't find out how to do this one until just not too long ago. So since I was doing this, this demo, I thought I'd throw this in. And I'm not going to color it. Do they stay nice then after they dry? Yeah. Now they'll lose their smell. I got uh, had a couple of women mention to me that they still have our theirs, but how do I how do I get smell back into them? I said, even with some perfume or something, I, it's going to go away. and you can fluff up to however you want. That's <laughs> Alright. Okay, now for you all that don't do the shows with this, I'll show you a couple of things that we do. Yeah. And they said something you can put on there. The bees are like. It's it, whatever perfume. It's a herb. Herb. Anise. Right. Anise they like. Anise. I don't know what was on these, but man, they the bees. They like the smell. And that one woman, the first one that I ever had it happened to me. I was like to say it was out of Boss Grist Mill. That was a that was a hoot. I mean that was that was neat. Okay, if you got a piece of branch wood that's got a little bend to it, see how that is? And you want to make something, you're out doing this show, and you want to kind of golly gee whiz some folks. And a lot of times when I'm doing them, I, it just grab something and just go. Fast. 
And I've made these particularly just people will come by and just want them. you do a two-minute yes. project. We worked, the, we worked the fair and we did over two thousand dollars in tips. Right. Oh, really? The county right. fair. Yeah. But we put a big effort into that. Right. Hey, give give it a turn. That pays for just a lot of things. Hold, hold on. 
Like that. Just hold it. Don't move. And most of it's these little things. Yeah, that's uh, all we have to turn around. Honey, honey dippers and whatever they want. Yeah, we made whistles one year. We prepped up 500 whistles just a couple of years ago. Ed knows all these because Ed belongs up there too and he goes up almost every night. The whistles um, were. They were hard to get Yeah, tuned. whistles are hard to get tuned, but what we would, we prepped up like 500 of them. We went through all but just a handful of them yeah. that year. And uh, we'd give them to the kids uh, and tell them that you have to blow this in the car on the way home. Yeah. It's the state law. <laughs> <laughs> and your parents can't roll the windows down. If they do, the police will come get them. <laughs> and you can hear them all over the fair, these kids blowing these whistles up. <laughs> Yeah, I remember when I gave the one kid the whistle, and his mama looked at me and she said, Now, Junior, tell the nice man what we brought to the fair this evening. We rode in on the Harley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, like I say, you meet some neat people. So if you get a chance yeah. to do the uh, Wax Off Fest, it's fun. I did the, I guess it was, I don't know if that was the first one you all did. When I came down and helped with Barry Russell that time. Yeah, I think the fair for us is probably the, fun, the most fun. Yeah, for us, it's the biggest fundraiser yeah. for us. That and the hospice thing, but yeah. we do a lot there, but we give it every bit of the hospice. So. Yeah, we do ornaments, tons of them, tons and tons. I used to do that first one. Can you do the first one? Again? Sure. <laughs> the, okay. But that, like I said, that's the, the fastest. took me longer to get the paint straightened out than it did mm -hmm. to do them. But truly, I could do a five gallon bucket of these in a day. Uh, done it over and over and over and over. He gets rolling, gets tips, he gets kisses. Huh? Uh, uh, hey, I got this is funny. We phone get numbers. Phone numbers. I did. I did. That's funny. Um, last year, we were busting our butt because we wanted to break a certain numbers. We wanted to break what we did to you. I think it was a fair. It was it the fair? And uh, we have big pretzel tip jars up there. And as soon as they get full, they, they dump them out and start over again. The last couple of days, it's always hectic. And this was the last day. And I'm filling up the jar and I come get mine. And Tammy, Jerry's wife, counting the money and stuff, she said, you got to come up here to see this. And I'm like, man, I'm busy. But I went up here and saw this. There was a phony $5 bill. It was like a toy $5 bill. And I'm thinking, who in the world would be cheap enough to donate a phony five dollar bill and I have this hanging on my off my bullet board in my office my wall and it was some gal's name and a phone number <laughs> 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 yeah. no, no, no. I was afraid <laughs> but I got it just it's in my emergency number <laughs> you didn't throw it away exactly <laughs> It's always a backup. Yeah. But you, you meet some, you meet some really cool people, some funny folks. You put the five dollars back in the jar for them. No, I kept, but I kept the phone number. <laughs> I mean, a real five. No, no, I'm too cheap. She was cheap. I was just cheaper. <laughs> okay. Any questions? I mean, it's pretty straightforward. And the paint that I use is. Uh, for the little airbrush thing is the same that, that I use here. Is the uh, go to Ben Franklin's or some yeah, hobby. cheap 50 cent a jar paint. Well, I use Even. the uh, it's acrylic airbrush paint. You could probably get it at Michaels or something. Yeah, Michaels, yeah. what have you. Uh, the cheaper stuff is good. Is there any one type of wood better than another? Yeah, Poplar. I think poplar works the best. Um, like I said, I didn't have any in my I got a wooded area in my yard. I went out and cut some. It's we been raining. We got hours from Fred, I think, the last time. Right, and I, I should have gone over to Fred's and got a couple of pieces. But Steve Martin doesn't have any more. He cleared. Yeah, his yeah. If, you're, if you know somebody that's clearing out underbrush and you're in a, in the area where you want to make flowers and give them away or do whatever, go get it because it, it works pretty good. And I've tried holly. Eh, I've tried lots of other stuff and eh, poplar. Anything that's straight grain with no knots. Uh, you can't let it get more than a week old. Oh, yeah. It just quits uh, fluffing on you. This was cut. This uh, actually was cut in yesterday. The water. It, it'll probably get yeah, you, you put can. it in water. Yeah, yeah, you can. But the ends will start to crack. But then you got to watch. If it, I guess, aren't they? 
you get it to where it's staying too long, it starts to the water starts to get sour, and then you yeah. can't get rid of that smell. Roland, I got a problem. See if you can help me with it. Mm -hmm. I was taking my CDL driver's license test by a young lady, and uh, she said, "I hear you turn bowls." I said, "Sometimes, well, would you turn me a bowl?" And I said, "Yeah, I might do that." And uh, so I had three in shavings, and I got one of them out and did the best job I ever done, and carried it and gave it to her. Now she's writing me love letters. <laughs> it's a what curse. Would you, what would you recommend I do? I don't know. I have, I have the same curse. I try to turn it off too. It's just, <laughs> some of us just can't turn it off. Much as we try, we can't turn it off. Maybe <laughs> 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 you better step outside while these two have a conference. Maybe they can start a fire in the AAW. Yeah. yeah. Get a roll. Well, we can get both these heads in the same room. <laughs> But One of Roland's old. tips. Yeah. One of my old schoolmates, she asked me to make her something. So I think I'll make her something and my let my wife help me and make part of it. That way none of you won't get me in trouble. Yeah, that's the safe thing. Yeah, you go. Or let your wife give it. <laughs> Any questions on what, what to do? I mean, like I said, it's very straightforward. This is, without a doubt, the fastest demo I've ever done. Normally I drag them and they get... Yeah, they go out pretty long. That's good. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, one tip too. If you ever get a big chuck, this is the biggest chuck that I have. This this one came from uh, Penn State. I love it. It's a cheap chuck, but it's got such good range, and that's what I use for a lot of stuff. I can grab lots of stuff. The chuck that I like next to that for grabbing stuff is Dave's. Deep jaw chuck, you never lose anything out of that. But this chuck's so heavy, or if you get a big chuck, make sure you put a set screw in the back. So when you screw it on, you can tighten it down. So when you turn the lathe off, if that chuck doesn't spin back on you, it'll spin off. Roland, I saw some literature where they got these chucks now that you don't put the jaws on the screws. I saw that. You, you pop, just pop them on. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's a $500 yeah, chuck. Yes, a $500 deal. Yeah. I thought. I've touched it, I've had my hands on it. It's an easy tool. Yeah, it's a it's nice fun. chuck. Now $500 is nice. Oh, I could buy, yeah, I could buy four, four grizzly chucks for that. Mm -hmm. I could wear out some chucks. But Tim Reiner sent out an email and uh, for supernova chucks. They right. were selling rebuilt yeah. ones. I bought them. Well, it's really yeah. nice. They're so a good chuck. They're a good chuck. The yeah. super, I got a supernova. Um, G3 or something. Yeah, it's, it's G2 and G2. Other than it's, it's other than it turns backwards, but it, it's a nice chuck. You know, I, I was reading about that, and everybody says that's because they're from Australia. The reason for that is because the way the lathe spins, it makes the jaws tighter. Tighter, yeah, the jaws tighter. That makes sense. When they had when they had the Tommy bars, yeah, I mean that made all, all kinds of sense. They didn't change the scrolls. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the Reverse spin rotation of the earth. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Exactly right. That's yeah, so it depends on which way you put the laser. You turn it the other way, way around, then you got it. <laughs> but yeah, I like mine. If you guys, if uh, if you need a chuck, that's a good deal. Um, I've got one of those too, the Barracuda. Yeah, I, I like put it the on. big jaws on it. Yeah, this is the only chuck I have that has the sharp teeth yeah. type jaws too. My other chucks all have dovetails. It's just my personal preference. So you call it Barracuda? Yeah. yeah, this is the Barracuda 4. This is the biggest one. And uh, I have it set up. Well, this is the insert for this lathe. I got it set up for my lathe, which is an inch and a quarter. Well, I'd say put a set screw back here because I have had them spin off. Turn your lathe off and it's so heavy. It keeps turning. It keeps, yeah, it, it quits, it quits turning. Yeah. Will supernova jaws fit that one? No. <coughs> and I'll sh show you a picture. You guys can look at this. This has been cleaned. 
This one gets used. This this chuck gets used more on shows and stuff than anything. But when I do, I've done a couple of hats, and I'll use I use uh, well either my supernova or a grizzly with my bigger jaws on the inside. I've got the big jaws for that one. Mm -hmm. That's what I use that on the inside. Yeah. The real big ones. Yeah. Now. You, it's not when you're finished the inside no, yet. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. For that, for that, I, you know, I put a, a spigot on the back on the top. Okay. And then I turned it around. I put it on the uh, super. The, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. the real big jaws. Yeah. yeah. The cold jaws. Jumbo jaws. Yeah. Jumbo. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Okay. Please Appreciate it. Thank you. When you come to the workshop, I'd say bring a tool that you're having problems with. All of them? <laughs>